I'm going to break down the real power structure of the world in detail, but here's what it comes down to politically. The Anglo-American establishment controls about 70% of the world. It's the technocracy. It's the most evil. It's the most powerful. It's the most sophisticated. Okay? And it's the U.S., Canada, Western Europe, the U.K., Australia, New Zealand, Japan to a certain extent. It's the echelon countries, as I call them. It's the most advanced breakaway civilization. Then you've got the Russians. Then you've got the Chinese. Then you've got the Sunnis run by Saudi Arabia. This is political, though they call it religious. It's a political movement of domination and control, of conquest. The Sunnis. Then you've got the Shiites, Iran, 20% or 19% of the Muslims. Those political movements. Then as, quote, religious political movements, you've got the Catholics. You've got the Orthodox Church. And within that, you've got competing intelligence agencies and systems and different AI companies like Apple and like Google. And they're all competing for control, but these are the major players. And they all overlap. They all have spies within each other, but they're all wanting this huge world government and this huge supercomputer life extension uh, system, this, 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 this Manhattan Project squared to build the immortality system and to build a breakaway civilization that can survive if the planet's destroyed. And they believe they're going to become God on the other side of this. This is their childhood's end scenario. And again, I'm not saying the globalists and the Anglo-Americans are some off-world entity or, or even the devil. I'm saying in an archetype they might as well be because they've decided all of this is old, all of this is ending, and they're going to design the new world. Look all around you. That's why the elite don't seem to care. And they're galloping like the four horsemen of the apocalypse forward into Armageddon to have global domination and to make sure no country, no nation, no religion, no group can block them from their mass social engineering plans they have to force us, not into free will, but into this forced hive mind AI computer collective, the Evermind. I've studied it. That's the elite's real plan. I told you this 15 years ago when I really started getting informed. Now the elite are rolling out their true plan and are admitting a lot of this. The Pope's calling for world government. They all want the ring of Mordor. They all want the world government. They all want the AI future predicting systems. They all want the life extension. None of them will stop the rise of this total power because they're all jockeying and giving their power to it, hoping they become the one that wields it. The truth is, none of them are going to wield it. The Antichrist will wield it. Whether you believe in God or the devil or not, doesn't matter. Humans manifest what they imagine. Just as Genesis says, we're built in the image of the master creator. It's real. Whether it was real in the cosmology or not, we've made it real. And the entity that will come into control of all these systems means to become a god artificially, because the devil's not a god, through what God's creations made in his image built, that's as high as the devil can get, stealing what we build him. Now you've been given the deepest esoteric knowledge there is, and I will get, break more of it down tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Central. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. I want more candy. I want more video games. Why, why, why?